Hey y'all. Well, <clears throat> I want to make a couple comparisons here. <clears throat> something old, something new. And why is the old thing better than the new? So, I got a couple references that I'm going to try to use. And regarding the King James Bible, the authorized version, uh, common Bible, or whatever you want to call it. It is the Bible with the Texas Receptus, uh, the Masoretic Text, on what is called the Antioch and Byzantine uh, Received Text. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to use two toys to make my first reference, and then a couple pieces of money. So first of all, <clears throat> I got here two Optimus Primes. Both of them are Optimus Prime. There's no doubt about that. You know, there, you can tell clearly that they, these toys, are both Optimus Prime. The Optimus Prime on the left is the older model from the 1980s. The one on the right is a more recent model from the 19, or sorry, from the 2020s. 40 years apart. <clears throat> now this one, the older one, has a bit more articulation and is older, of course, again, you know. And, you know, there's, even though the shape is uh, a bit robotic, uh, this one is not so much so. It's got a little bit more articulation, but it's uh, made of cheaper stuff. And see, uh, his hands are blocked in and things like that. They got like little ball joint things. So, would you be more interested in a Optimus Prime with a cab on his back? Part of it, you know, because see, look at this. His chest plate and his back plate. He's still got a chest plate and a back plate. The back plate, I mean, the, uh, the cab plate grill haven't, hasn't been transformed into his chest part. It's still part of his uh, disguise. So that hasn't been transformed. Now with Optimus Prime, there's a little change. The cab is part of his chest. See what I'm saying? Now some of you might say, well, oh yeah, well they make better Optimus Primes these days. Even ones that look like this. You know, and even ones that are from the cartoon series that used to come on in the 80s. It transforms by itself. It looks just like Optimus Prime. It's more articulate and everything. So your comparison isn't all that great. I'm just saying it like this. If you were to go to the first Optimus Prime that came out in the 1980s, this is the one that's it. This is the one you go with. This is the old way. This is the oldest Optimus Prime out there. You know, of course, one of them. Because, I mean, of course, this is a 1990s remake of the old one. But I'm just saying, this is the same... Uh, <clears throat> this is the same uh, mode. This is the same uh, uh, Autobot Optimus Prime that was made back in the 1980s uh, mold. Um, just This one's a 92, actually. This one came out in a Generation 2, but it's really actually the same as Generation 1. And this one right here is, is like I said, again, it's a more recent version. And again, you only see the cab here that's on his back when it should be here on his belly. But that's not so. It's a cheaperly, it's cheaper made as a knockoff toy. You know, even though it's licensed by Hasbro. So which one would you want to play with, actually? Would you want to play with this one? Or would you want to play with this one? Because it's more articulate. You can do things with it. Or would you want to play with the, the original? You know what I mean? If you knew anything about the original. Which one would you want to keep? Out of both of these. Which one would you want to keep? Which one would you want to, um, you know, put upon your shelf as an antique and, you know, enjoy? I don't think it would be this one so much. It's probably this one. Right? I mean, think about it. Look at his tires. I mean, it's just... Look at his tires. Look at his legs. Look at his legs. You know? He do not even have a gun. Oh, it's probably got a gun. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, what happened to his guns? He's got bumpers for fists. You know, his, his fists are kind of closed in by bumper parts. 
and his back plate, his his chest hasn't even been transformed. It's 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 not even part of his transformation. You know what I mean? So I mean, it's weird. But anyway, <clears throat> I think you can see what I'm talking about here. I mean, they 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 transform pretty easily, but when it comes down to it, you'd likely probably want want to have something that was more closer to the uh, for the very beginnings of the uh, Transformer series in the 1980s, and that's this one right here. I'm assuming that. You know what I mean? But some people probably would like something like that. I don't know. Now, the next reference I want to make is... Now, let's do this. I have here a 1953 penny with Abraham Lincoln on it, of course. And on the back is a wheat. It says one cent. I also have a 1958 penny with the same same thing, wheat penny. Then we get to 1970. Same penny, but now it has a Lincoln Memorial on the back of it. See? Then we have same looking penny, just a little bit different. Uh, 2013 with a shield on the back that says one cent. Now, what can you tell me about these three pen three pennies compared to that one penny from 2013? That one penny from 2013 is made of zinc. This these pennies rot. I found pennies metal detecting it and they rot. These copper pennies don't rot. They still they still hold their shape. They're still usable. They, they, they don't deteriorate like zinc does. So just like with the Autobots, the Transformers, the two Optimus Primes, one is cheaply made, the other one was made a long time ago. And it's still, you know, usable and it's still viable. It still has a neat, awesome shape. And the other one, it can easily fall apart. This Optimus Prime here, it just, you know, it'll easily fall apart. It'll snap right off at certain places. I mean, they both will, actually, but, um,. This right here's got ball joints all over it. See that? I mean, the articulation for the ball joints is good. I mean, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. But I mean, you can bend him in all kind of places. He bends, but he's mostly hollow. You know what I mean? He can't really hold a gun right. There's just something neater about the original Optimus Prime, the Generation One. The G1, this is a G2, but G1 and G2 basically the same thing. Even though it's hollow here, you know, you can flip his head around. And it's the same thing with uh, this one. This one was probably stand up better than this one will. i tell you that much. And it's the same thing with these pennies. They're copper. They look different on the back. Then they finally changed to the Lincoln Memorial. And then they went from being copper before 1980 and 81 to became zinc. You know? So it's the same thing with the authorized version Bible. Some people put in things in the Bible as far as like the Apocrypha and they took it out because it didn't belong in there to begin with. And they changed the uh, the font from a, um, a, a Gothic font to a uh, Roman font. There was no change in the word itself. Just like this 2000, sorry, this 1970 penny is still a penny and it's copper. It's the same thing as if a, a 1953 penny compared to 2000, uh, sorry, a 1953 penny compared to a 1970 penny. It's still a penny. It's just one of the faces were changed. Same thing with the authorized version Bible, the King James Bible. It, the font was only changed. And there were um, things that made the words better, but it was not revised. The penny itself was not revised. 
It's just the different faces on it. It's still a copper penny. Same thing with authorized version of the King James Bible from 1611 to uh, 1769. It's the same thing. It's just things that are the grammar and standardization is better. There's nothing revised in the whole story of the Word of God. Just like this, uh, with this penny. A 1953 penny is no different from a 1980 penny. It's just it no longer has a um, the wheat thing on the back, and it now has the Lincoln Memorial. Then after 1981, completely changed from copper to zinc. And it's the same thing with the Optimus Primes here. So it is with God's Word. So people are so busy trying to find something different. And whenever they have the very same thing, God wants them to understand right in their face. God said his word doesn't change. He's always the same. Yet today and yesterday, he's always the same. And so people are trying to find all kind of reasons to find some kind of change. When the Lord said he doesn't change. Whenever he said he would keep his word forever, Psalms 12, 6, and 7. He said he would keep his words. He said, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. That's what he said. So it's pretty obvious and pretty, cl pretty clear that whenever he used the Hebrew and Greek to translate his word and have his word translated and he put it into English, he didn't change it from the Hebrew and Greek to the English, eventually to the English to mean something different than what he said. So where you have to go to the back to the English or Hebrew, it transferred down. Living, breathing, pure. So we don't, just like Jesus Christ himself, we don't need another Jesus saying that he's our salvation. He's the Lord. We only need one Jesus. We only need one Jesus who died on the cross for our sins. We don't need another Jesus Christ who's slightly different, who says something a little bit different. Because the same Jesus Christ that died on the cross for our sins is the same Jesus that um, uh, we know and trust today in the authorized version, the King James Bible, that is. The same one that was in the Hebrew and the Greek, what they were writing at the time, it's the same one that got transferred down to our English Bible. So it's the same thing with um, God's holy and perfect word. We don't need a more per we don't need to try to find God's perfect word in Hebrew and Greek. And we can't say that it's lost because it's not lost. If the word of God is lost, then Jesus Christ is lost, and then your faith is in vain and it means nothing. So just like with these little toys, you know, it's kind of clear that the original is the best. I mean, like I said, you might could say, well, you know, there's better ones than that now, but still, he's still the original. I mean, the G1 is the original Optimus Prime. That's what it started out as, and everything that followed after, after that. Sometimes... When you're trying to make something better for good, it ends up being worse. And that's what people have tried to do with the authorized version, the King James Bible, with the NIV, NLT, ESV, all the rest of them. They're trying to make something better, and they made it worse. Sometimes if you just leave stuff alone, and just, you know, of course, with Optimus Prime, it's a toy. This, this is has nothing to do with salvation and then again you know with money that's uh that's different types of metal that has nothing to do with salvation but concerning god's holy and perfect word that's a different story whenever the lord said he would preserve his words that he would keep them he meant what he said so when you say well I got to find it in the Greek and Hebrew because I can't believe it. Um, I, don't, I don't think it, I think it was lost. I was told it was lost. Somebody told me it was lost. The preacher told me it was lost. So I had to go back to the Greek. I had to go back to the Hebrew to understand God's word.
No, you don't. You have everything you need in God's holy and perfect word in one Bible and not several. You can't call ESV, NLT, and all the rest. So, I mean, you can all the Bible, the infallible word of God, but you're fooling yourself if you do. There's an article in the newspaper that I'm, um, I gave um, many years ago. And in it, uh, they were, the fellow was doing an um, article on, on a Bible that I had. It was a commentary Bible. And it was called um, the Adam Clark Bible. It was really old. And he asked me what I thought about it. I felt about it. I said, it's in the infallible word of God. But the thing of it is, it had different things in it. It was an authorized version. It wasn't King James. And I call it the infallible word of God. Because I didn't know any better. And whenever I did know something better, then I kind of like wished to myself, I'm like, mm, I wish I didn't do that article so many years back. Because now I know the difference. I know which is the better word of God, the, the perfect word of God, as opposed to not put the perfect word of God. I know my copper from my zinc. I know my Optimus Prime, the generation one from the 2020s Optimus Prime. You see what I'm saying? Anyway, I hope y'all get something out of that. God bless.